Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to explain five things that will help you during combat in Immortals Phoenix Rising. First up, we have potions. If you just so happen to skip over potions because they're for health and for stamina, let me just let you know that the potions is very crucial to your success in this game, especially against tougher enemies. Another thing is that you can also upgrade these potions for better perks with the golden ambers that you find throughout your journey. I will personally recommend having three to six potions always on hand because you just never know what you're gonna run into out there while you're exploring. Next up, we have godly powers. Your godly powers are very effective against all enemies, of course. They deal great damage, and they also build stun meter on your enemies. The only downside to the godly powers is that it takes an extensive amount from your stamina bars. So you got to make sure you have those stamina potions on hand because you're going to need them. Next up, we have your sword. Now, this may be obvious to some people, or it may not be. Your sword builds stamina blocks, if you did not know that. So, if you're out of your stamina potions, no need to worry, you have your sword that will build up your stamina blocks, and since your sword attack speed is very fast, you'll have them back in no time. This one is very effective because a good defense is a great offense. We have dodging. Well-timed dodges in the game is essential to winning a lot of your encounters, especially early on, because you're not as strong, you're very squishy. Also, well-timed dodges can be the great setup to get in the edge on your enemy. Since they're put in a slow-mo state, you can maneuver and set up for another godly strike. <laughs> Lastly, we have parrying. Parrying can allow you to capitalize on your enemy with a powerful combo, dealing some massive damage. Also, another great tip is if you line up your parrying with your offensive and defensive potions, there's a possibility you can make less powerful enemies outright kill themselves. All these tips will help you out on your journey throughout the Golden Isle and improve your game when playing against some of the enemies. My name is Jay, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, be sure to drop a thumbs up. I will be creating more helpful tips for you all in the coming days, but until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.